blood ties. Once upon a whisper of dusk in the small town of Eldridge, a specter of tragedy loomed. The town, known for its picket-fenced houses and late-night barbecues, had its dark corners, a history steeped in folklore, lost legends, and chilling tales. But as time often does, it had forgotten the whispered warnings, much to its detriment. In a rundown orphanage on the outskirts of town, a little girl named Lilith played. Raven-haired with porcelain skin, her appearance was as deceptive as the shadows clinging to every lonely corner. The caretaker, Mrs. Hargis, often remarked on Lilith's uncanny charm, but also had a lingering sense of dread whenever she gazed into those crimson eyes. Despite being the youngest in the orphanage, Lilith was a force to be reckoned with. She often engaged in games with the other children, her laughter dancing like sunlight. But it would be the darkness always lurking in her gaze that made the air turn heavy, the other kids whispering rumors born out of fear. After several heart-wrenching years, a normal family of three, William, his wife Clara, and their son Jamie, decided that they would adopt a child. They had heard tales of Lilith, the peculiar little girl who seemed more shadow than flesh. An aura of oddness wrapped around her, but perhaps that was precisely what the family was looking for, something different to bind them closer together. When the day of their meeting arrived, Clara and William sat in the sun-soaked living room, excitement mixed with trepidation fluttering in their chests. Jamie fidgeted, glancing expectantly at the door as if Lilith's arrival would chase away the clouds that hovered over their home. When she stepped over the threshold, the sun dimmed momentarily behind a cloud. Lilith stood framed in the doorway, small and pale, her raven hair cascading over her shoulders like a waterfall of night. A shiver rippled through the room. The glowing light flickered as Lilith strolled in, her tiny feet whispering against the hardwood floor. In an instant, she claimed the family's attention with her haunting gaze. Over the next few weeks, the family acclimated to their new life with Lilith. She was unnaturally bright, but the absence of light seemed to cling to her when the sun dipped below the horizon. Clara often noticed her daughter wandering outside long after it became dark, staring up at the moon, whispering sweet nothings in a language unknown. As Lilith settled in, Strange occurrences erupted in Eldridge. Reports of missing pets spread like wildfire, each tale wrapped in a shroud of panic. Were they simply lost, or was something more sinister afoot? Clara's heart raced with worry, yet it was overshadowed by her love for Lilith, whom she believed to be just an odd child finding her place in a new home. But it soon became evident that the girl harbored a darkness no one could fathom. Lilith's innocent smiles would burst into moments of sheer rage when things didn't go her way, the air around her swirling dangerously. Once, during a dinner, as Jamie teased her about her pale complexion, the atmosphere shifted. Her eyes flashed crimson. The fork in her hand crumbled like paper beneath her grip. In a split second, the room groaned suffocating, and Clara felt the urgency of a storm brewing. Weeks blurred into a haze of fear and chaos. One night, Clara awoke to the sounds of rustling and an intoxicated air of abnormality wafting through the house. She tiptoed to the living room, only to find Lilith perched in the moonlight, a crimson grin smeared across her face, the remnants of a bloody feast staining her fingers. Clara's heart lurched, hanging grotesquely from Lilith's mouth was their beloved cat, Fifi, lifeless, torn asunder. Mommy, she just wouldn't stop moving! Lilith exclaimed, her eyes resembling glistening rubies as she turned to face the petrified woman. The wild, unfiltered joy on her face shattered every explanation Clara could muster. The room spun. She stumbled back as Lilith lunged towards her, the glint of elongated canines stark under the moonlight. Screams erupted in the darkness. The family knew something was wrong, yet they could not grasp the horror they had invited into their home. William rushed in, armed with his love and disbelief, only to be met with the unthinkable. Lilith turned on him with a howl that distorted innocence into a beast's cry. She had lost the veil, revealing truth, a ferocious vampire fueled by bloodlust. Clara struggled, fighting against the primal urge to protect her child while understanding the monster she might have birthed. 
The walls of their home bore witness to a violent conspiring of blood and flesh as the little girl devoured everything that bound them together. Howling echoes of panic engulfed the night as William and Jamie fell victim to their horrific fate. When the sun finally broke over the remnants of the once happy family home, it illuminated the wreckage left by love twisted into tragedy. Something fragile, perhaps a mother's heartbeat, was silenced in the wake of a child who no longer resembled the innocent being they had once reached out to adopt. Lilith, now in a world of her own creation, roamed the desolate towns of Eldridge, her crimson eyes alight with the thrill of the hunt. She had become the whispered tale, the blood-tinged specter haunting the streets after twilight, a monstrous girl, as vibrant as she was deadly. And so the legend grew, a reminder that sometimes darkness and love could intertwine in the most horrific ways, creating a nightmare from the sweetest of intentions. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.